Hey guys, J Man Selections here on the J Zone with my special 1000 subscribers video. Um, thank you guys for subscribing, it really means a lot. Liking the videos, commenting on the videos, um, favoriting, commenting on my channel page, PMing me, anything you do. Thank you for doing that. And I don't even ask you guys to do all of that stuff and you continue to do it, which is amazing. I really. Um, I, I just can't convey it in words. I really am thankful for all of that stuff. The only thing I do ask for you sometimes is video responses, and I do get um, a good amount of video responses. And um, the reason why I do that is because it's due to one of the main reasons why I'm on YouTube is because around here there isn't too many people I can talk to about gaming in depth, should I say, and anime in general. I can't really talk to them about. I'll explain that um, in that. People, if you want to talk to them about games, the only games you can talk to them about mainly are something like FIFA or Call of Duty because they're what popular and mainstream. You know how people like to conform, and um, you won't be able to get talk about anything else because that's just what people like to play because it's popular and you've got a lot of fragheads. But, um, and same with anime, anime is not the most popular thing, it's kind of a niche, um, sort of thing. So people don't always um, like to talk about it or actually some people are actually fans and you know this is the worst thing but some people are fans but they, they're scared about it and they don't want anyone to know because they think it will people will laugh at them and stuff like that but me I if the way I am with things if, if I'm ashamed of doing something I need to stop doing it like anything I do and if I'm ashamed of something I do I, I need to stop doing it or I, I just stop doing it so I don't really do anything that I'm ashamed of so that's the my stance in the whole being scared of an anime, be, being scared, no, being scared of people knowing you're an anime fan. But anyway, that's that's a different topic for another day. Um, one thing I do need to discuss is why I didn't do a video for two weeks on this channel and on my other channel, and why I haven't done a video for eight and eight for ages on the Cool Otaku's channel. Um, that is due to my laptop is not in a good situation right now if you followed me for a while on my channels my other channel J Man Seductions and on this channel you realize that I do tend to have a few issues with my laptop and the computer there It's because I need to upgrade these things and I need to buy something new I'll be saving up for a while because I'm tired of fixing things and I just need to get new equipment and stuff to make my life more convenient and that will probably take me in two to three months so November slash December time, I'll have the money, and it's not even that, school, um, in terms of school anyway, um, I got my results like a week or two ago, um, they weren't bad, but they weren't good, they were okay, and I want to do better than okay, because university, and you know how fun university is with um, us having to pay nine grand a year for university fees, <laughs> Love, I love you David Cameron, bastard. but anyway, um, yeah, um, I'm gonna have to just focus on school and get that better. So November slash December time is when I'll be back up to full speed. But for now, one video a week. So um, yeah, I, I need to slow things down, um, and I just need to throw out a lot of personal stuff in general. Um, like I need to make a few decisions, should I say? Um, so yeah, the channel will slow down for a while. I'll put it that way. Um, I was going to do shout outs originally in this video but I have decided not to do shout outs because I can't edit because of this laptop situation so I don't want to drag this video out for way too long and bore you guys um, so I will be doing that probably for my one year video whenever I get around to doing that I'll just do a whole bunch of shout outs and make it a special video really awesome probably not but it'll be okay it'll probably be an okay video but um, so no, no shout outs this time um, one thing I will do want to do, I'll probably put this on the title for this video. Um, I just want to address in the anime community because I, I do these videos every couple, no, every not couple, every five or six months, should I say? That's, I mean, probably. I'll probably do them about that time scale. I just talk about the anime community. Um, actually, I, I, what, I'm, what I'm saying applies to every community I think it just applies into YouTube in general um, I, I just want to give my thoughts on it and just update you guys on what I feel about it um, a lot of videos have been going around I'll say that much and I will be talking about those videos as well 
But one thing I want to say is YouTube has been changing. The anime community is not the same the way it used to be. And even even I can even apply this to the gaming community. Like the gaming community, it got to a point where it was getting so big you would start to notice similar videos from similar people. And then one, the main culprit of that was unboxing videos. Um, unboxing videos were everywhere. New games, someone will get it, unbox it. You just every time there's a new game, you'll see so many people doing unboxings. The anime community had the same issue. Because you had um, uh, chapter reviews and ep reviews, and they're still going. And every Wednesday, I get a load of chapter and ep reviews in my um, subscription box. Which I mean, I'm okay with. If you want to do chapter and ep reviews, um, you can do them. Because that goes into what something I want to talk about. The my sort of philosophy with YouTube is to each his own, like to each his own sword, to each his own paths. Um, um, <laughs> and I wrote that in Jewish Air's newest video. And um, he was like, what if you're Zoro and you have three swords? I thought that was pretty funny. And Zoro is awesome. Um, he's the embodiment of Bushido itself, if you know what Bushido is. But, like, I'm just saying, like, you, why I have that philosophy is because last year, I used to, I got involved in quite a few dramas, quite a few conflicts. And this year, I, I, I only recall myself getting involved in one, and that was with AG Acting Girl on DM Friend. And I, that one I didn't even mean to get involved with. I just did a rant video on mainstream versus non-mainstream stuff. And they got annoyed for some reason. I don't know why. But the reason why I do that is because I just feel people are different. People are going to have different opinions. And diff people are going to post things, post videos that you may not like or you may like. And I just, you know, it's bottom line is to each his own. I have my opinion. You have yours. I'm going to do what I want. You can do what you want. I may respond to you. But I respect where you're coming from. That's what I try to make sure. I always try to make sure I respect where the person's coming from, even though I may blindly disagree with them. Um, that's what I try to establish. If someone then gets annoyed because I don't have the same opinion as them, then that's their fault for being ignorant. But um, that's the way I see it. And I think a lot of people should take up that sort of mentality. Um, not saying you should be more like me, but I'm saying you should be more like me. I'm joking now. I'm saying that. Just try to have a neutral respect for other people. I mean, like I've said, on my, I've said this many times. Drama is inevitable, and it's going to happen, obviously. But um, if it's avoidable, you can avoid it. Um, especially if you're a person that doesn't enjoy drama. Uh, me personally, I think it be, can be fun, but too much can get a little annoying. So, to me myself, I just if it's avoidable and I, it, it, there's no point of me doing it, and if I know it's going to annoy me, I just don't get involved. Um, and I just sit back and watch. But if I need to, obviously, I will get involved. That's the way I do it. Um, also, I just want to say, people, try and be... If you're starting up and you're new, try and be original. And tr try and... Just think of what... what um, think of this. What do I bring to the table that someone else would like to see? So what do I bring to the table that um, that is new and somewhat innovative? Or something that's different? Is it my personality and all that stuff? Because I see a lot of people new that get frustrated. Um, and I see people that talk about the smaller animes and get frustrated. And talk about the bigger animes just to get more views and hits. And people get annoyed when you talk. People get annoyed with people that just talk about the big three. And there's just all this constant conflict about talking about things that are popular and not popular. And it just seems to always be this constant conflict with things. And the way I see it is, it's not always about that. And um, what I will say is... Just like I said, try and be original. Try and bring your own unique thing to the table. Don't try and copy someone else. Because a great example of this is my good friend now, um, Esper Review. I've only known him for probably two to three months, roughly about maybe, yeah, two to three months. I'd say when I first saw him, he was probably on fifty something subs subscribers, but now he's on like over seven hundred subscribers. So, like, in that in that sort of short time span, he's gotten bigger because he the way i see it, he just carried on doing what he's doing talked about topics that he likes to talk about and he um what i liked about him is he I, I do like the topics he chooses but not even just that like when he does news updates like you know people like to do different news updates he wouldn't just say oh this happened or sony announced this sony announced that he would go into deep analysis and detail which i just enjoyed um so like just Going by the example I just gave you, um, don't get frustrated with simple things like that, and just take YouTubers' fun and don't 
don't take things too seriously. Like the whole Naruto hard, Bleach hard, and just t being called a tard in general. Don't take that too seriously because people throw it around. Um, I'm sure someone's called me a Naruto hard or One Piece hard before, and I didn't really take it too seriously. Um, yeah, I really like Naruto and One Piece, but uh, I, I can't change it. I really do just do like those two series, but I also like other series. Um, one thing is just enjoy yourself because you notice when someone makes a video you can really notice when they are enjoying themselves like three people in particular who I can say I really think they do enjoy what they're doing and you can tell it from their videos would have to be Ozaki Rain, Sh um, Shonen the Jumper and Mr. Mihawk because you can tell because I chose them three names because I don't know I really think their videos are really funny and you can tell that they really enjoy making these videos and that's what should be there and this correlates to two videos that I'm going to talk about now which were Game Manic's video and um, Sawyer's new video which were basically talking about how people are their quality of their content is going downhill maybe because they want more views or they want the money and I think that's the core value that you should remember that uh, this should be fun and when I look at Jurashare's, um, Ozaki Reigns and Mr. Mahawk's video, every single time I see one of their videos, I always think to myself, these guys, from what I can see, they really do enjoy doing what they're doing, and that is what is important. Um, there are other people who I can name drop and say the same thing for, but I just decided, I don't know, I decided to choose their names. Like, there's a lot of people I could say, but... Um, yeah, just, just enjoy yourself and don't take things too seriously. Um, that's all I really need to say in terms of just how I think things are in a community and how I think things can improve and um, just those two videos that cropped up recently I don't want to get into too much depth or detail about them but as I said to each his own um, that's all I really need to say I am have to go off probably going to watch some more case closed or watch some One Piece because I've been watching a lot of One Piece today because I was I'm, I'm kind of, I was behind on One Piece because I, I just don't know I stopped watching for a while for some reason um, but yeah today I managed to watch that Toriko One Piece episode you know the crossover thing that everyone was talking about two or three months ago I um, finally managed to watch it and I really did enjoy it and um, yeah it was really cool and I really am interested in Toriko again because obviously I bought Volume 1 ages ago and I never did um, get round to reading more Toriko, watching more, but this kind of pushed me into the direction of doing that because I really want to. Um, I really like the side characters that showed off. But anyway, if you did watch all of this video, in the comments I would like you to write Nami Swan. Nami, you know, Nami Swan. If you watch One Piece, um, you will know. Um, Sanji shouts it all the time because he's a perk. Um, so just type in Nami Swan. Um, hopefully this video wasn't too long. Um, sorry if I bored you. And just as I said, enjoy yourself. Um, JMS Productions on the J Zone. Live and learn. Good luck and God bless. Catch me in my videos because hopefully I'll upload to my vlog channel, to the Kulos Harkus and this channel and keep things consistent. One video per week. Peace.